Hey guys, welcome to Line Light. So, I've decided to split off the puzzle adventure type games off into a separate slot from just general indie stuff. And in celebration of that, I figured I'd finally play a pure puzzle game for the first time in a while, as I've been planning to do. In fact, <laughs> uh, back when I finished Night in the Woods, I was like, well, this wasn't puzzly at all. So I was like, to res at the that time, I planned on following up with Line Light specifically. And then a few distractions happened along the way. Whoops. But this was my plan of, uh, at the time, of going pure puzzle in response to how not puzzle that game was. Let's see how it goes. Ah. My inputs are actually affecting things. So here I am on this line, hanging out, being a line. There's a reset button, apparently. Controller recommended, apparently. We'll see why. I'm taking that's a good. They're teaching me that, tr that diamonds are good to get. Maybe even required. What do you do? You're a switch. And immediately I need to get used to the inputs and what they mean when you go on diagonal lines. So this is left and right, this is down. Okay, because so, we're controlling with the, with the joystick inputs. So we switched a bridge and grabbed a diamond. I see. So if I go up towards the diamond, it'll switch the bridge away from me and I'll be trapped. But if I go down, it'll be in front of me. And the diamond's mine. It looks like we're gonna have non-vocal tutorials. So I wanna okay, so I wanna create a bridge. So I need to avoid the green one. Okay. Tutorialization through level design. This immediate Is this from the people that made Auditorium? The visuals are immediately making me think of the game Auditorium. Okay, so that'll bring the bridge down. But I can't get to the, I can't get to the per, the uh, pink bridge at all. Let's switch the pink bridge over, and then when I get to the blue, that one will also not be there. So I need to switch that one over too. Otherwise, I think we're set. There we go. Clear. This is incredibly relaxing to listen to. Oh, we have audio video sync. This, ex this extra makes me think that's probably from the auditorium people. Simplistic visuals and sort of like a layered background audio that's synced up with elements of the video. I'm gonna feel really foolish if I'm wrong. Nope. We just sneak up behind it. So now we have enemies to worry about. The dreaded baseline. Aha. I see what's going on here. Get out of- oh. Oops. There we go, now it's trapped. What does that do? Ah! There's lines that destroy the reds. Intentionally bringing it down to the red line. To murder. Goodbye. There's one on the far top right. Switch it, then what will happen? You'll just wander. Ah, but I can make you turn if I go if I put you on the side over there. We can guide the enemies around. Which I'm really only assuming hurt me. That isn't, I haven't actually touched them yet. I'm not really in a hurry to find out, though. They're red and pulsing. That pretty much immediately communicates to the player. Don't want that. Especially, I think there was even like a bit of a siren or, or warning when I got close to it for a moment. Now we have keys. This is elegant. Incredibly elegant. Careful. 
Aha. You carry them? You cannot. Concerning. Well, if I get you out of the way, I can go grab this one safely. And then I can trap you again. It's actually really satisfying how quickly it, sm it just smoothly moves from one puzzle to the other one as we go along. So I probably want to get you on the bridge and bring it over here. Oops. That's the exact opposite of what I was going for, more or less. Nailed it. Okay, so let's put you on the bridge. Oh! Didn't plan that. Okay, so I learned something important there, though. One, first of all, it went past... I thought it was going to stop at the mechanism and go back. And so I was, my plan was to wait for it to turn around, then take it out. Uh, trap it here. It turns out it doesn't stop. It'll actually keep going. Not only will it keep going, it triggers the switch itself. So that's useful information. It's imp uh, It looks like they're talking about tutorialization and you're, you're required to learn that this thing will trap itself in order to continue. You have, you have to learn that these things can trigger the bridges. They also don't seem to turn ever unless there's a turn in it like this. They won't turn right angles, I mean. Yeah, I need you to go away. Oh. I need to bring you over here so that you can trigger the bridges over and over again for me. That's what's going on here. I can hide, but he can't. So he'll go back and forth forever now. So just in case I somehow didn't get it through my head a moment ago, now I am, am required to figure out that these things will let me navigate this way. This is really... These are actually really good experiments in teaching players how your puzzle game works. Uh, danger. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Gotcha. The music's so chill. Okay, danger, danger, I'm trapping myself. Ah, yep. You really trap yourself because when you try to flee backwards, it'll get you caught. So I probably have to go in on this side. Which is almost impossible. Oh, I probably have to run past it. Yeah. That's how you go. And then it sends itself back up there. And we're cleared out. Ooh. World I wonder if that was a world clear with the way that it gave me an extra screen. So now they're changing widths as opposed to moving. That's a change. Okay, this could quickly get complicated, potentially. So I can't go up there. If I switch you, I can go around, though, which allows me to reset by one state. There we go. Okay, so... Oh! Didn't even see that guy. Probably wasn't spawned. Oh, there he is. They bounce... Actually, it'd be hard to tell if they bounce off each other or if they just go through each other at the, with the way that their animation works. So basically, I just need to wait for them to go up and run across the bottom. No, that's not going to work. Oh, I trapped them. That's, is that what I'm supposed to learn? To trap them in the middle of nowhere? Right, because these lines shrink, so they're stuck on the tiny sh on the tiny line there. Howdy. Danger, 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 danger. Ah, <laughs> the gauntlet. Keep it held down. Oop. Thank you. Ooh, you can see a level over there on the left, and since. Since these lines are generating as we go, that must mean that it's a previous level. Problem. But I can loop, so we're good. They're just teaching me- they're, they're teaching me to loop around to reset, uh... To reset switches. 
Because going left and right just means getting stuck in the same state over and over again. And where le being on the left is always the same thing, and being on the right is always the same thing. Because you're going through a switch the same number of times each time. But if you can loop, you can change the state. Which is important. I need to time it correctly, though. Pesky. <laughs> right, I need to have the key. Ah. I need you to be down here so that I can do this. And you hopefully don't trap me and kill me. Hopefully. But we'll see. Right. Kind of a little bit better than that. Can't get there in time. But, oh, not like that. <laughs> wow, worst possible timing. I need to flip which part of the circuit he's in when it switches to that state. There we go. But I have more time. Gotcha. Now it happens. This seems dangerous. Let's do it. Oh god, I'm on the same side. <laughs> Probably not the way to go with that. That's also not the way to go with that. Let's plan ahead a little bit more. Okay, so... I need to get on top. He can only enter from the right side there. Yeah, no matter what happens here, this, has to, this part has to happen. So here, I have to just choose which side I want him to be on when I get on, when I switch it. Um, I mean, do I have that much choice? I'm coming in from the left side, so I always switch it this way. Which means I always have to, I suppose, switch it when he's over, the, no, not like that. So I have to switch when he's on the right. Now he'll trap himself? A lot. Right, we're set. What? Gotcha. <laughs> I have to pause for a second to readapt to what position I'm in. I. That. Is interesting. Whoa! That's the entire game we've played so far, starting in the top left corner, I believe, then whoop, then warping around. So I paused because I got here and I'm like, wait a minute. This looks like a new mechanic. This looks like Metroidvania puzzle solving for a second there. Because those two, if you look at it, the things I'm next to are coming from off camera. And the little dots that seem to indicate that you can continue going in a direction are going in three different directions now. So after, now that we've finished what I, I guess must be the tutorial, now we're wandering around an open world, kind of, as far as puzzles go. There's even a world select, apparently. This is world one. Hello. There's six worlds. That's interesting, isn't it? And this one has ceased its linearity. <laughs> and there's also a level select. Oh. Like warp points. So it, those chunks are considered levels. Oh yeah, and those were the those were the spots where when I left a puzzle, it went into a blank screen that was just more line, then another then the next screen was the next puzzle. So those were those were like level transitions basically. Well, this just opened up. Interesting. Well, I can't do anything now. That startling. Do I have to just stand in the middle of it? There we go. It's a new, new, new thing to learn about even now. You can catch them while they're moving. So if I touch this, I'm going right up into there, right? And then I'm doomed? Whoa! I have to go back this way and switch between them. So I have to just not get hit by the red. I'm dodging the hazard. And I have to do it twice because of the way that the switch works. I gotcha. 
Hello. Okay. So we're dealing with a purple switch that itself has a green switch on it. So I have to hit a green and I have to hit a blue, which means that I want green and blue to be up, basically. And I want purple to be down. And I want to be at, well, I want to be up now, so I can press all three in a row like this. Gotcha. What is happening here? Um. This is gonna be a trip. Okay. Let's bring you all the way up here just so you can die, basically. Hooray. No one ever accused me of not being morbid. Clear. Seems like that might be the easy part, though, because how do I get. Oh, I don't go down there. There's no escape. It's just that. I go this way. Howdy. So we can see it expand outward. Oh yeah, we're looping back around towards the spot we saw from the, the other side. And they'll probably, oh, and I'll probably end up uh, simultaneously triggering both bridges, so we'll then continue to the north part. It's just introducing the idea of crossing over previous areas. But I'm not actually, I'm not, not actually or, uh, proceeding non-linearly, so he's trapped me and I will now die. Okay, so... Trap it, basically, right? That was the wrong way to do that. That was the wrong way to do that. Gotta do it while he's heading right. Nope. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I was just slightly off again. That almost works, but no. There we go. And you're mine. And you've come to kill me, but I have escaped. Cross the bridge, you'll never catch me now. Hi. Whoa. Another new thing. Numbers, ooh. There's a weird floating square above the origin point. I wonder what's up with that. You're curious, um. So there are two keyholes, but no keys. I could switch these, but I'll never get across because without the without the keys going these holes, I can't get I can't break the circuit. I have to press them all in one order, which means they'll always be offset by one, which makes the whole thing useless. So maybe these two numbers indicate how many keys are in that direction. There's a key. Seems to just be a race course of sorts. I think the idea is I need to take I need to get off the track periodically because they will catch me because they're faster. Hi. That's one. Next up. Yep, there's another one here. Oh, this seems dangerous. <laughs> okay, so he perpetually traps himself for now. What am I going to do here exactly? Let's see, so he comes here. Cool. So if I go right, it'll push that down. Okay, so he'll go back and forth enough that this will work out eventually. Oh, but now I'm bringing him up towards me, which is kind of dangerous. That's the trap, huh? I have to figure out a way around the fact that he's going to... Tr he's dangerous at this, po at this point. Okay, so how am I... going to get by without getting caught? Oh, awkward. Oops. Timing's off there. If I take him to the very bottom, I may be able to just sneak by him really quick, if I'm careful. 
Okay, yeah, I can make that work. I, I was looking for a solution for a puzzle, but uh, it's actually pretty straightforward if I just go at the right time. Hey, look, it's the opposite of solved. <laughs> Music is looped again. Base note is here, but why do I want it? Oh, is it gonna chase me somewhere that I want it to chase me to? These strike me as dangerous switches. Uh okay. Accidental comrades, huh? Now where are you going? Ah. This is got this is getting weird now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Dangerous. I was gonna say, this whole thing's pretty, but also dangerous. I'm gonna have to get past him at some point, right? Oh no, he's just gonna keep going forward. How's this gonna work out? Oh. Come, he's coming back. Why did I do that? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I ran in front of him. Watch out. So every time I go across, it, it cocks the uh, bridge and he needs to close it again. Weird how when I hit the red pulse, it died instead of me, seemingly. That was strange. I thought they were defeating me. Was I, was I misinterpreting the, the visuals there? <laughs> Bye! I'm running out of head now. Oh, I probably can't do anything now. I need to wait for you. Oh, uh, how is this gonna work? Seems wildly dangerous. Hey. Okay. Ah! <laughs> so. I need to get to the key. In order to get to the key, I need to be on the green when it goes down. In order to be on the green when it goes down, I need to something? Oh, you go up here. You, I probably need you. Uh, or perhaps not. Seems like the, oh, this is gonna be, this is where they're gonna go when I, when I open the door. So they're gonna go up there and let me proceed. How's that map looking now? Almost complete. I'm curious about that first screen on the, that's near the beginning, apparently. I've gone backwards at the very beginning. Something to investigate later, I suppose. I mean, they have to be on the bridge regardless or I can't do anything. So now... I suppose I run past it? Causes you to go down. There we go, that's what I need to be on. So follow it. And I've got what I need. Oh, I thought it was gonna go all the way around again. That would've been time consuming. Go, go, go! Progress, um... No, no. My friend is leaving. <laughs> we did so much together. Hey. I actually haven't been getting that many of those lately, have I? Whoa. I think that took away my wor my transition screen. Let's check back here. Ah. Seems that that might be me leaving. Curious. Looks cool all filled in like that.
World 2. There we go. Even the music's different, which is neat. I'm curious, though. Let's go back to World 1. Then pick our level. Go back to the beginning. I want to see if I can go back to the beginning, now that I know about the map. Oops. Conveniently, everything is designed for me to be able to go through it backwards at this point, because I've already prepped all the bridges, basically. I bet I can go north or something. Yep, look at that. The answer's nothing! There's nothing there! But now it's filled in, I suppose, so there's that. <laughs> that won't be agonizing me. World 2, then. 